Australian reclusive researcher Ronald Pegg claimed that this glyph drawn on an Egyptian papyrus is a depiction of a compact disc. Hello, my name is Eddie Pengilly and I have investigated this claim. My paper is called Egyptian Papyrus of Ani Describes 1995 Computer Technology. It specifically examines Pegg's claim that associated glyphs describe and depict computer technology. This is plate one from the Papyrus of Ani, with the redrawn glyphs used by scholars to translate it. The first problem I discovered was that scholars do not agree upon the traditional translation, so I was compelled to check it out for myself. To do this, I use this Egyptian grammar book as my reference. The first three columns have the glyph under question drawn four times. When I checked the copied glyphs to those on the papyrus itself, a second issue arose. Just in the first three columns, 19 glyphs have been incorrectly copied. Seven in column one, with two extra ones being added. Six in column two, and six in column three. So the traditional translation is based upon 21 miscopied glyphs. Another issue is with the traditional translation of the first column. Here, 14 glyphs have been used for the words, the eastern horizon of heaven. But five of those have been miscopied and two have been added. When the grammar book is checked, we find that these four glyphs by themselves say, eastern horizon of heaven. So the obvious question is, to what was this group of miscopied and therefore untranslated glyphs referring? Checking the original glyphs, we find that three are not classified. This shape is similar to these two glyphs and combined means raised or protruding platform. This is glyph Q3, meaning a base, and is a depiction of a box. Thus, as a pictogram means base box. The viper glyph is I9, but as a caragram means thin. The line is pointing to the side of the box. The last glyph as a pictogram looks like the top view of a protruding ledge being a saddle for the disc. So this reads as a thin protruding platform, a saddle for the disc in the side of the base box, and are exactly describing a compact disc's thin protruding drive tray in the side of a computer. This supports Ronald Pegg's claim that this glyph is a representation of a compact disc. This paper in these three columns of Egyptian glyphs also found described a monitor, a mouse and cable, a clear jewel case with its black base plate, and some contents from my particular 1995 compact disc. The mystery behind Egyptian glyphs has just been revealed to you. Download a free copy of this paper now to find more detail.